When the CRISPR-Cas system was discovered as part of the bacterial defense mechanism, scientists didn't anticipate that it would one day revolutionize genetic engineering. Upon repeated attacks by a virus, the CRISPR system clears bacterial cells by cutting the viral RNA strand into small, non-functional fragments. This task comprises two crucial steps, recognizing the viral RNA and cutting the strand to neutralize the viral genome. Viral RNA targets are recognized by small, complementary RNA fragments produced by the bacterial cell. These bacterial RNA fragments are named after the DNA pattern the bacteria uses to produce them. Clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats, in short, CRISPR. The viral RNA strand is cut by the protein CAS. CAS is an abbreviation of CRISPR-associated protein. It belongs to the endonucleases, which are enzymes that cut strands of nucleotides. To execute their function, the CRISPR RNA and the Cas protein elements need to stick to one another. The CRISPR RNA binds to the matching sequence in the viral RNA, and the protein cleaves the bond between two adjacent RNA bases in the viral RNA strand. However, CRISPR-Cas not only cuts viral RNA strands, but also works in the nucleus of eukaryotic cells to cut DNA strands. Following this discovery, scientists realized the great potential of CRISPR-Cas in genetic engineering. Even though the CRISPR-Cas technology isn't the only gene-editing technique used in genetic engineering, it's currently the most precise and easiest to adjust. The Cas protein is simply loaded with a suitable RNA fragment designed to match the desired target. The complex then binds to the specific target and can induce changes such as the following. The DNA strand can be cut with the aim of nuclear repair mechanisms failing to reconstruct the correct DNA fragment. This approach is called disruption and may one day be applied to treat various conditions such as cancer. In addition, specific parts of the DNA can be cut out with partial or complete gene deletion. This approach, which is referred to as deletion, has the potential to be used to treat conditions such as Duchenne muscular dystrophy. After cutting a DNA strand, new DNA sequences can be inserted to fix defective genes or expand an organism's genome. This approach, also known as insertion, is a potential treatment option for conditions such as sickle cell disease. As you can see, the CRISPR-Cas system has great potential. However, there are several challenges that need to be addressed. These include specific delivery to target cells inside living multicellular organisms, as well as ethical concerns surrounding the genetic engineering of human cells.